I thought I'd make a quick video comparing the ancillary armor repairers versus the Tech 2 variants. In this video I'll be focusing mostly on the small armor repairer and the small ancillary armor repairer because frigates are sort of where my expertise is and it's the easiest easiest thing to compare I think and it's the closest comparison. There are a few assumptions I'm making in this video and that's mostly that you're only fitting one of these modules or most most frigates you know outside of maybe an incursus or you know some boosting dual rep assault frigate or some, something along those lines typically you're only going to fit one of these modules you're either going to fit the small armor repairer 2 or you're going to fit the small ancillary repairer 2 and the small ancillary re uh, repairer 2 i think is the better module but a lot of people still fit the small armor repairer 2 and i think it's a bad habit i mean the small ancillary armor repairer does cost more so let's compare them and see uh you know the difference between the two really so they both have the exact same duration they both have the exact same capacitor cost ancillary armor repair is a bit easier to fit as it costs one less cpu and one less power grid so the small armor repair 2 is 20 percent harder to fit now if we just go into some basic maths really um the uh, small ancillary armor repair will rep 171.6 HP for every cycle, every 3.825 seconds. This is with heat, by the way. And then, once those charges are run out, it will repair 57.2 for the remaining cycle. And the small armor repairer 2 will repair 101.2 HP every cycle. We're going to be comparing cycles because it's the easiest metric to use because they both have the same duration. Once the uh, small ancillary armor repairer has used up all its charges, it would have repped 1,372.8 HP per second HP. In the same time, the small armor repairer 2 would have only repped 109 HP. So that means the small ancillary armor repairer would have repped an additional 563.2 HP. And this happens at 30.6 seconds. So half a minute in, um, the small ancillary armor repair has used up all its charges and it's 563.2 hit, hit points ahead. So now the small armor repair 2 is going, going to repair more. And it repairs um, 44 HP more per cycle now. So if we do some basic maths, you know, 563.2 divided by 44, we get 12.8. So essentially, we need to round up to 13 because obviously there's no, uh, you know, half a cycle in EVE. So um, after 13, after 13 cycles of the small ancillary router not having charges, that's when the small armor repairer 2 comes ahead. So that's 21 cycles or 1 minute and 20 seconds almost before the small armor repairer 2 takes ahead. And it, it just barely breaks even at 21 cycles. Then from the 21th cycle onwards, it's repairing 44 HP more every cycle. And uh, this is all with heat. Um, I think it's pretty realistic to assume that you can repair for 21 cycles if this is the only active module in your low shot that you're overloading. Um, I've tested it a few times, and I think the small armor repair too. You know, normally it takes about 25 to 26 cycles to before it destroys itself or destroys another module on the low slot and you need to stop heating it. Now obviously if you have the uh, rapid repair gang link then this time is going to come down from 1 minute 20 seconds to about 1 minute. But in my experience most frigate fights are over before 1 minute. I mean un unless you're <laughs> like flying you know, dual repping cursors versus dual repping cursors most of the time they're going to be dead. Also, repairing for 21 cycles in a row is pretty unusual. Um, you know, most frigates are going to have capacitor problems. I mean, if you have a, a small injector, that's fine, but not all ships do. And, you know, there's always going to be external factors like muting or NOS at, at times. And I don't think you're not always get, you're going to pulse reps as well. You're not always going to, you know, just turn it on. So chances are that it might take longer for those cycles to pay off than you know 
one minute 20 seconds is the best case scenario or one minute with links you also got to got to think about the other advantages that the small ancillary router sorry the small ancillary repairer has which is that it has a bigger burst tank you know obviously in most in most fights you're not going to repair repair you know the entire of your opponent ship's damage if you're fitting one of these and you know having the the bigger burst burst tank helps especially as you know at the start of the fight as well there's going to be more damage usually because there's going to be drones you know the other guy's going to be able to heat his guns you know there's going to be a lot of cases where you know even if you do have the capacitor to to run all 21 cycles you're probably going to die before those cycles get off or you know your your opponent is dead before that time the next thing it's less to fit there are some fits that do not fit fit without the small ancillary auxiliary wrapper and my crusader is a, an example of one of those fits if you're wondering how the medium and the large ancillary wrapper compare they have the exact same cycle requirement it's 21 cycles for both the medium and the large as well the only difference is that the medium has two times the duration of small wrappers and the large has 2.5 times the duration of the small wrapper so instead of 1 minute 20 for the small to pay off, for the medium it's 2 minutes 40 and for the large it's 3 minutes and 20 seconds. I think there are some cases where you might want to fit the small armor repairer too and those are I, I'd say only if you're really using links because bringing the time it takes to pay off down from 1 minute 20 to 1 minute helps a lot. The second thing is if you have links, you know, you're going to have a bigger tank anyway, you're going to survive longer. There's a bigger chance that you'll survive that one minute. 